everyone. Today I'm gonna talk about Japanese pet peeves. Since I already talked about the things I love about Japan, I want to talk about the things that usually foreigners find annoying in Japan. Let's get started! Pet peeve number one, slurping. In Japan, it's normal, it's not rude, it's polite, completely socially accepted to slurp when you eat something hot, a hot soup like ramen or hot noodles. It's actually necessary. If you don't do that, you get burned and they're loud. I don't even know how they do that. I can't, I choke. I actually wait until it cools down and then I eat my hot soup. But if you go to a ramen place, be ready. It's gonna be like a... Pet peeve number two. In Japan, when it rains, you know, the streets are super crowded, everyone has an umbrella, and it rains pretty often. Like in June, right now, it's raining. But since usually, not always, but usually, average Japanese height is a little lower compared to foreigners, you end up walking with these umbrellas that always like go in your eyes, and you have to be careful because, I mean, I care about my eyes. These girls keep their umbrellas so low. I mean, they're cute, but please just keep the umbrella a little higher because it's dangerous. Pet peeve number three. When you are in a hurry, you have to go to work and the street is super crowded and in front of you those two guys are walking so slowly. They're on their cell phones and they like, no, hurry up, I need to go to work. And since the street is so crowded, it's not like I j can just go past you. That's usually what I used to do in Rome. But in Japan, streets are too crowded. If people don't move fast, you're stuck and you'll be late. Ah, pet peeve number four. I don't mind this, but a lot of people told me that sometimes is a problem. In Japan, it's normal when you're talking, people usually nod their heads to do something like this, and they say something like, ah, naruhodo, naruhodo, so, so. It's like, ah, I see, I see. Nodding for even like five minutes. But this doesn't mean that they agree with you. They are simply saying that they're listening to you, that they understand what, you say, what you're saying, but don't be fooled because maybe they don't agree. They can say something and you can be like, wow, I thought we talked about this. I thought we had an agreement on this. Nope. Pet peeve number five. This is my personal pet. I don't like to share my food. When you go to a Japanese traditional restaurant, they're called izakayas, you have to share. Someone makes the big order and then you share everything that's on the table. Personally, if I want something and everybody gets a little piece of it, then there's not much left. Maybe I wanted the whole omelette and now I have just a small piece. I don't like to share. I like having my own pizza my own plate of pasta but I know it's the same for a lot of cultures so for me I would say this is my Japanese pet peeve because it's happening in Japan and it didn't happen in America or in Italy but I'm pretty sure if you go to China it's like the same thing or other Asian countries especially I'm not sure about Africa pet peeve number six this is honestly not a pet peeve for me but a lot of people told me that they find this thing annoying it's normal in Japan that when you go to a um, clothing shop especially if it's for women the shop assistants will say something like like a super high pitched voice that's normal i cannot even do that they're so nice cute and welcoming but they look like dolls sometimes and they sound like dolls if dolls could talk i think they're cute that's all for today this was a very fast video hope you enjoyed it hope you subscribe see ya